This party is officially over. What? Over? It's over. What's going on? It's, uh, it's showtime. <laughs> time to enjoy some stuff, right? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm always enjoying my kill. Why are you doing that? What's going on over <laughs> there? What are, you, what, are you, what are you enjoying over there? Thank you. I'm ready to dance. Oh. You having a dance party? Yeah. Scared me for a I'm second. Ready to go, <laughs> I'm ready to go to Canton, Van Austin, Oklahoma. I'm ready to go anywhere. What are you going to do? Be a world traveler? What's going on with that? <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm not going to all of them places, but I'm just, you know, I'm <clears throat> maybe pick. You, you notice he didn't say Durant, Oklahoma, out of that list of places. Well, Durant, Oklahoma, you kind of, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Whoa. I think he died. <laughs> what? Why you want me to talk my phone call or text message? Because that means he's dead, right? Exactly. I don't know. <laughs> You're the last one to see him. So I didn't <laughs> Whoa. No. Yeah, that's going a different route. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is not something we need to talk about. Yeah. All right, we got stuff today, guys. We got stuff, people. People out there in, uh, in the land of uh, watching, right? People looking, people looking, people watching. I would hope right. so. Here's what we got. We got stuff today. Uh, we got Charlie Crawford. We're gonna talk to him. See what's going on. Mr. Era Team Roper himself. We will find out. We're gonna ask, we're gonna we're gonna get into some horse talk with him. Find out what's going on with that deal. Uh, we're gonna tell you some old west stuff that you probably know or didn't know or didn't, if you you didn't hear about it because it happened so long ago. Unless you're 100 years old, then you know what we're talking about. So we're going to tell you about some old uh, old stuff that happened. It's interesting. About a few banditos and folks like Tex. I'm, nah, I'm not an outlaw. You can't, you're not talking about outlaws like me, right? Outlaws or in-laws? I don't know. Nah, I'm an in-law. I'm not an outlaw. we got some PBR stuff. PBR stuff's going on. We're going to tell you about that coming up. Uh, somebody decided to take a take a truck for a drive. might have been Tex. I think it might have been Tex. Yeah. <clears throat> that wouldn't surprise me. Yeah. would not. And then we got... Uh, People want to go barbecue. It's hot outside, summertime, so we're going to dip into some uh, some grilling trends for the for the uh, summertime. Six popular grilling trends for 2016. And if you're trying to breed your two-year-olds, we're going to give you tips for that. Two-year-old cows. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> two, what kind of don't, what kind no, of kill no, is no, it? Just <laughs> don't say a word. Just be, oh, yeah. I, I'm not into that, dude. <laughs> no, I would hope not. Oh man! And then uh, <sighs> there's a sale barn. Not sale barn. Why I say sale barn? Auctioneers. Yeah. Hey, I, I won the auctioneer championship a couple gonna, days ago. And we're gonna tell you about that. That was, that was kind of neat. I did not know they had a competition for that. They do. I may have to join. I can, join? I, can, I can talk fast too. <laughs> not really. <laughs> Let's go. Sell, come on, sell something. Let's go. On. Let's sell hear something. it. Let's hear it. Come uh, on now. You may not be able to understand. Sell me this bottle of water. How's that go? There it is. Five dollar, two dollar, three dollar, eight dollar. I don't know. I think what? I think I, I think I just messed up. Yeah, I think <laughs> he went down low before he went back <laughs> high. God, that's going too far. Well, I find a bio. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nobody's buying. Use nobody's the bottle. Buying, yeah. <laughs> nobody's gonna buy nothing from me, so I don't know about that. But uh, we got stuff going on, uh, so we're gonna. Dive into some some stuff. How about that? You got uh, you got something floating around where you just want to dive on into? We can maybe, or we can just talk about. It. How was your weekend? My weekend. What did I do this weekend? Well, that's what we're asking, <laughs> Captain Obvious. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Yeah. Oh yeah, I went to Fort Worth this weekend. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's talk about Fort that. Worth. I, I, I had a little vacation at the. That's called a staycation, right? Staycation. Yeah. Staycation. Yeah. So you had a staycation at the Cattle Town, huh? Yeah, at the Cadillac Hotel. Cadillac Hotel. Yeah. Where's Cadillac Hotel at? Uh, stockyard. Well, it's, it's in the stockyards. Yeah. Is that one of those on the strip, or is that? No, I think it's on the foot. We could have water ball hunt. No, water. Nice it, restaurant, y'all. It's on the corner. It's on the corner right there. Uh you got if 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 it's the it's Cadillac a, Hotel is above Cadillac Cantina. It's not it's not down there by the uh it's not down there by Stalker's Hotel. It's the next block up. Kind of oh, like, kind okay. like by Whiskey Girl. Cattleman. Oh, Whiskey Girl. Well, yeah. Cattleman's and all that stuff. Cattle, yeah. Oh, was it pretty nice? Yeah, pretty, did you have pretty, a good time? I did. Did they I, kick you out? They didn't kick me out. <laughs> did they almost kick you out? No, nah, the only thing I only person that kicked me out was the girl I was meeting down there. 
<laughs> okay, so let me get this. So you had a state. I had a, I, I, you hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm trying to process this. It's been a long day, so let's see here. You had a stay staycation at the Calac Hotel uh-huh. at the Fort Worth Stockyards, uh-huh. right? Am I good so yeah, far? Yeah. Uh, was this Friday night and Saturday night, or just Saturday no, night? Different Saturday night. Saturday night. Yeah. I went down there the other day. Okay. I, was like, I thought you said a different girl Saturday night. I was no. like, what? Okay, no. so you're no. at the Stockyards, you're at the Cadillac, which is above the Cadillac, and you had a female companion join you? Not, not in the sure. hotel. Not, well, I didn't, I didn't say the hotel yet. I was saying she had a... Was she part of your stay vacation? Yeah, she was part of my stay vacation. She, okay. She was supposed to... Well, ideally, it was supposed to be dancing and dancing. Really? Where are you going to go? Of course, well, of course, there's all the stuff you go dancing at the stockyard. Yeah, stock we, went to, we went to go to Cattleman. And have a nice dinner. Have a nice dinner. Uh-huh. I ate by myself. <laughs> did she stand you up? <laughs> no, did you, did, she didn't stand me up. She came after the fact. So I was going to say the big text GB got stood up. <laughs> yeah, I did. I stood up at dinner. You got stood up at dinner. Yeah. So you had a steak by yourself. Yeah, I did. Man. For two. I had a steak for two by my chill. Oh, no. So how does loneliness uh, taste, okay. to show curiosity? <laughs> I don't know. It... <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? I'm just... That's a... Hey, I've traveled for 20 plus years. I've traveled the road. So I know what it's like to eat dinner alone. <laughs> Just not in my own town when I invited a lady to meet me for dinner. Of well, I didn't, ta- I didn't take that very long because she showed up when I got done and finished eating. I well, think the whole deal. Let me ask you a question. I, and this is between me I and you. You know, we've been friends for a while, so I'll ask you this question. Did you tell her the right time at dinner so you didn't yeah. have to buy her dinner? <laughs> Say, hon, let's do dinner at 8 o'clock. And you went in at 730 and had dinner. <laughs> and then at 8 o'clock when she shows up, you're like, oh, I thought we were having dinner at 7.30. <laughs> Here, let me I, buy you a salad. I didn't eat dinner until 9.30. Why so late? <laughs> I wait on her. She didn't, she Hell, didn't, nowadays, I'm in bed by night. Yeah, me too. Well, I wish. But. <laughs> she didn't show up to 10 o'clock. So you had dinner at 9.30. She showed up at 10 o'clock. Did y'all still go dancing? We went dancing. Well, how was the dancing? I, I might not be very good. <laughs> well, how can you not be very good at dancing? Well, you dance I like do. every stinking night. I do, but apparently, well, but there's no pole involved. That's why you, you sucked. <laughs> well, about two miles I'm out of dance for. She had jump up to do. She had to go to work. Okay, so now, y'all danced on the dance floor for two hours, and, and then you had a phone call. Oh, <laughs> was it? Didn't me ask? Okay, okay. She got a phone call. So <laughs> she, she had a phone call. You had to go. You had to go to work. Yeah. Did, now, 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 now was she texting? Now was she texting somebody? Maybe two or three minutes prior to that phone call. Oh, she was texting all. Every okay, time, so every buddy, she didn't her. have to go to work. <laughs> she stood your butt up. Uh, every time y'all met her, you must be a horrible dancer. <laughs> that's what I, no, it I, took I, her I, two. I, took her two hours I, to figure it out. No. <laughs> I said hello, and then you had the phone. You hold the phone the whole time. Yeah, like, every, hurry, every up, you hello. Like, hurry up, text me about 30 minutes. I got to get out of here. <laughs> Man, you must be a sorry date, buddy. <laughs> I, I don't know. Did you brush your teeth? Your hair was combed? I did. You I had did. clean clothes on? You checked, put under them deodorant on? I, Everything was good? I, I had a cowboy hat on. I had on. Hold well, up. Well, hold well, up. Well, yeah, hold on. Time out. <laughs> I, I didn't have this hat. I didn't he, have had on, he had on. Instead of wearing a... a you know, a hat, you know, good, uh-huh. nice, good, straw hat. You know, these great M&F hats from M&F. And instead of wearing a nice, great, you know, good summer straw hat, he puts on that drugstore Jason Aldean palm leaf hat. Are you serious? And shows up in that. <laughs> Did you have your sleeves cut off too? Come on, tell me you played the whole role. <laughs> tell me you played the part. I, I, you had the Walmart cowboy hat on. Tell me you had the uh, Target shirt on. No. <laughs> I was worked up with more than that. I had this, I had shit like this on. Was it starch? Yeah, it starch. And you brush your teeth. Yeah. You took a shower prior. <laughs> what did What did What did you say? You had to have said something. Cause come on now, let's talk about this. You had to have said something that obviously made her get on her phone all night long. How much have you had to drink before she got there? There we go. That's the million dollar question. How much did you have to drink prior? You know, it is 9.30 at night. She didn't show up till 10. What time did you get there? Yeah, here we go. <laughs> well, I, uh, well, I got, <laughs> I got the Fort Worth at 7. 
But I thought it went at my house that morning. So you were day drinking. <laughs> then you I, drove. I, I woke up like Oh, God. And, and then you went to Fort Worth. I, and I'm sure you continue drinking. Yeah. On the way on the way to Fort Worth. So you should. She. <laughs> oh, I didn't make a okay. right. no. Well, no, I'm not talking about that. I'm just saying that. <laughs> so did you. You're probably like hammered. <laughs> so and, did you really even then, eat? Did you even really eat dinner? Or did you sit there and drank dinner? No. <laughs> I, I ate a steak. I, 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 uh, I probably drank four beers with my steak. In 30 minutes. So you slammed four <laughs> beers and ate a steak in 30 minutes. <clears throat> well, no wonder why. She's probably showing up thinking that you're an idiot. Going, oh, my God, this guy's an alcoholic. He's an alcoholic cowboy that looks like Jason, Mal- <laughs> Jason Aldean. <clears throat> uh, yeah, that is, you know, I used to go to a puffed up meeting. <laughs> you you went to where? <laughs> a puffed up, whatever. Say that again. You went to where? Puffed up. Puffed. Twelve step. Yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought you went to something else. <laughs> oh. Just well, having to double check there. AA okay. meeting. AA meeting. <laughs> okay, so you went to AA. Oh, and there's nothing wrong with that. Twelve steps. So all, were all were you a support or or were you I, being supported? I was an attendee. I was support. I was in the study. You was in the study. So oh. did you have? Did you really? Did you have an alcohol problem? I think I did. I only made it. You think you did? (laughs) You only made it to eight steps. You're too drunk to make it to the ninth. Did you fall down the stairs? (laughs) Well, I got too busy. I I got tired of. You got too busy drinking. (laughs) Like, we're day drinking, baby. We don't got time to go to AA. We're not a quitter. (laughs) It's understandable. I, I, you know, at least you made the steps becoming. Or going to, <laughs> going to it. You can't help it, right? I understand. Hey, it's great that you hey, took no. the effort to go. It's good you went. That's a good thing. The first step is accepting that you do have a problem. Yes. Huh? Second step is admitting that you've maxed out your master card, <laughs> buying crown shots for the entire bar. <laughs> Wait a second. We're not talking about me. Yeah. Oh, we're going back to you. So, anyways, uh, yeah. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> I'm really, I'm truly disappointed. You know, hey, for a year, <laughs> for a year, we have been trying to push you, and we farmersonly.com. Text Travis, farmersonly.com. What it, for a year we've been pushing this. We've been trying to get you set up on dates with really nice girls that would be more than happy to go out two stepping with you, have dinner, and go to church with you Sunday morning. And you got poop face. <laughs> Day drinking. That's she it. she probably stood around just wait to watch you fall down some <laughs> stairs or something. She's like fall. texting, us like, well, it's been two hours. She still hasn't fallen down yet. What should I do?" <laughs> and her friends probably are like, "Do you make the call? No, let me get five more minutes." <laughs> I can just see it. They're, we're gonna go across yeah, the street. Go. We're gonna go up the hill. Hold on, watch this. <laughs> She's yeah. probably Snapchatting it all. She's like, <laughs> Snapchat story of you for two hours going. <laughs> Did you do any shout outs? Did you do any like invisible shout outs? Or did you do that? You know, I'm on a TV show. (laughs) You didn't. You wasn't there for two hours, more like 45 minutes at the most. You were at dinner for 45 minutes? No, I was with her for 45 minutes. Oh, okay, so y'all didn't dance for two hours? No, but two hours. Two rounds? Yeah. Like, how big was the dance floor? (laughs) Two dance, you. Like, two Two songs? Two songs. So, like seven minutes. <laughs> seven minutes, two, three and a half minute songs. That's it? Yeah. You suck. <laughs> you, you suck at dancing, buddy. No, you gotta go to work. No, 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 no. Oh, oh man, that got called. You, you got a new job. Her man called her? <laughs> oh, man, and you. Oh, her man, and you. Oh, you bought that line. It's oh, like, yeah. zoom, zoom. Did, you, did your did you your lip you hurt do, with that hook in it? Cause she you, you, she you, you hooked your butt job. and just rolled it on up. She just got a new job and she didn't want to lose it. She just got a new job and they called her at eleven thirty at night <laughs> yeah. to come to work. Yeah, she really? went to the hospital. Hmm. I didn't see that one coming. Because I thought you were telling her pimp called her or something. She had eight tech to the hospital. I put a Facebook profile. I mean, not Facebook. She's a, a home only profile. Yeah. She's an she's an X ray tech at a hospital. Yeah, I don't know what that means. But it's only it's only profile. Well, I don't want to look at her profile, but <laughs> I no oh god. What you do? What? How? How are you going to get out of this one? You had a date. Was she good looking? 
Yeah, I got a picture of him. As a matter of fact, he posted on his phone. Did you post it? Did you ask her? <laughs> That's another reason. No, no, She's probably going to go, I want to really see if this I jackass posted my picture online. I accidentally posted it. I posted a picture at a hotel, and the whole picture got included with the picture. So he had a Farmer's Only profile shot that says Farmer's Only.com of her <laughs> on the page. So, I, yeah. I, I deleted that picture. After when? After she goes, you need to take that off. Oh, when, I, when I saw it, I saw it when it got posted, but I didn't tell him for a, long, for a couple of hours, maybe a day. He's like, you know that picture's on there, right? God, I must have been too busy this week and even notice that. Okay, so let's, let's, do a, let's do a brief recap, and then we'll jump into a funny story here. So. Brief recap. Saturday morning, you wake up and there's a beer in your hand. You don't know how it got there. All you know is it's cold and it's half empty. So you continue yeah. drinking. It's typical, that's a typical kind of day for me. On Friday, when I get home from work on Friday, I start drinking and I don't put it until Monday morning. You know, that's stuff you don't admit on national TV. <laughs> <laughs> we can edit that out. So, uh, going back to what I was saying. So, you woke up, you had a cold beer in your hands, half drank. You figured, hey, what the heck? We're just going to keep on drinking. Keep <laughs> slamming them down. You're like, oh, by the way, my farmer only. Bing! It pops up. Does it do like a little saying? You know, farmeronly.com. Oh, hey, she wants to go on a date. All right, meet we, me we, at 10 o'clock. We had a date plan for a kid Wednesday, though. Wednesday. Yeah, that Wednesday before. Yo, we, so you had a whole, you had like four days to plan this out. Yeah, you knew what was going going on. You knew you were going to meet, and yeah. Did you at least shave? Now they're <laughs> yeah. <Jay. laughs> now they're blowing up over here on the on the chatter the chatter box over there saying that. Oh, we don't have no chat. Oh, well, we got a log in here. Uh, what saying, happened to it? They're talking about the. Uh, they're there saying that go. these girls are lie are lying just so they can get a date with Tex. They want girls to lie. To get out of dates. No, it's they like, and that's what I was saying. <laughs> yeah. So, so, and, so and, are you and, telling me? See, and TNT there, she jumps on. Tell it you too. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, are you telling me she didn't, she, it's not an x ray tech at a hospital? No, no, no. I'm not, I am not saying anything about what her profile says, what she is, because there is plenty of jobs out there. Everybody does the jobs. I am not insinuating that she is a woman of the night. <laughs> I did not say that. You can insinuate all you want. All I simply said is, did her pimp call her if she's calling somebody texting at 11, 30 at night, tell her to come to work? <laughs> you know, it is a stockyard. So it, there's some shady corners, you know, a couple blocks up. Yeah, no, I can't. Do but. <laughs> well, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, that's, another, that's another show altogether. What, what were you doing there? Hey, I'm uh, not, hey, I'm Dr. D, yeah. not Dr. Drew, okay? Listen, so. You day drink, you have this set up. Oh, what was her excuse to meet you at 10 o'clock at night? <laughs> uh, what, what? she have another date? Is she on Tinder also? Oh, no, Farmer that, Tinder only? What? She, had a, she had a baby chest. She, she had to take a knee or she, no, her chest to, to chick class. The okay, so, amusement park in Arlington. She took, so she took her kid to Six Flags. Her chest dummy. Her chest. Or she took her sister to Six Flags. Yeah. Okay. And they didn't invite you to go to Six Flags? No. I guess I well, you wouldn't care because you're day drinking anyways. <laughs> no. I, I would have went. They got alcohol in the meat pot, don't they? Yes, but there's also kids, and you don't drink around kids, you knucklehead. <laughs> booty call. Who put booty call on the booty chatter, call. chatterbox? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that. We did, she did not go to my hotel with me. Well, oh, well no, because you were day drunk. <laughs> Rolling into night drunk. She, she would not being went, a drunk. She would have not went to the hotel anyway. I would not let her. You would not have let her. I forgot because you're a solid <laughs> Christian man that you wouldn't do that. No. Correct. Is that the sober Christian guy or the drunk Christian guy? Which no, one is that's it? Both. Both. I'm not. I wasn't drunk though. You wasn't drunk. Yeah. Started drinking at seven o'clock in the morning, but you weren't drunk. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. You, you, you got to drink it. But what? sometimes you just don't listen. You keep on drinking water. You, you, All right. You know what? I'm, I tell you what. I, I'm going. We're going to go ahead and bury this for a while. <laughs> we're just going to move on. I tell you what. Since we're on the top of you getting drunk and day drinking. You want to talk about the stolen butt water fuck? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, that was a 15-minute segue into a drunk stealing a truck. <laughs> like, something happened in Molesto. 
<laughs> Modesto. Oh, Modesto. Modesto. <laughs> Modesto, California. Oh, Modesto, California. Yeah. You know anybody in California? Might have stole a truck. <laughs> hey, I, I know you might from California. Hey, California. I don't even know. <laughs> oh, God. I thought we can go one night without it. Oh, they can't see anyone. They're, watching, they're, they're looking at a truck. Tell me something about the truck. Tell me about it. Come on. <laughs> a man in a stolen Budweiser beer pickup led off with you on a show speed chase. Just, just, just a slow speed. Yeah, it wasn't fast. <laughs> it wasn't fast. Couldn't get it out at first. <laughs> <laughs> it, they don't know exactly when the chase began, but it ended off of Highway 99. Yeah. So, hold on. They didn't know how when it started? They don't know when it started. So, they're like, oh, heck, man, we're in the middle of a car chase. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody call the news. I guess that you know, I don't know that a chopey, I don't know how you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't speeding. Yo, how you, <laughs> why, why was it not, well, what was it not speeding? What's the deal? A chopey chase. Why? A slow speed chase. Because <laughs> he was day drinking. He just went for a beer run. <laughs> and, got the, and got the whole pickup. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Boom, Howard. <laughs> well, when the foot got off the freeway, right. off of your chain, the driver jumped out while it was still moving. <laughs> hey, so he hey, jumped out of the yeah. truck and it's still rolling down the road? <laughs> hey, I got a story for that. Oh, you know what? Yeah, we'll do that later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah, that does happen. <laughs> I, I can relate to that. Jumped out here and get out of a vehicle. Uh, still I was going to say, how can you relate to stealing a beer semi and <laughs> driving it around California? I can relate to getting out of a pickup while still moving. It does, that, you, you forget. You, for, you forget that you to put it in part. And <laughs> text <laughs> no they don't <laughs> and, and everybody's going you know what i see all them uh wrecked vehicles on this facebook page <laughs> that explains <laughs> a lot so, so finish, so, finish up his story tell us something he's about horrible it. one of the officers you had to jump into the foot and stop it before it went to the interjection okay yeah <laughs> wow. just pet was caught by a canine officer that like a dog and a vault in the custom <laughs> custody <laughs> <laughs> K9 off with you that like a dog off with you isn't it no 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 that's just that's just one of those guys that's like in his level oh. it's kind of like black belts oh you know just <laughs> when they get the F they're like an F8 then they hit like a K9 oh yeah yeah they, they get to a Z23 you better watch out I, I believe you or is it Z26 I, I believe anything you uh, tell me. I don't know I never had to count that 113 okay anyway <laughs> That's what I, I want to see. That's what I want to see was the catch. I want to see that dog, that dog catch him. Because the canine is a dog, in case she's wondering. Over there. <laughs> now, talking about that, did you see that on the news? It was on National News the other day about the helicopter pilot, the yeah, helicopter the cop that bailed out of a helicopter and tackled a suspect. Yes. While we're heading to air? What well, the, the helicopter to air? Well, he landed um, first. Well, he, <laughs> no, he didn't MacGyver it and just jump out and put it on autopilot. <laughs> Which would be kind of cool, but how would he get back up in said helicopter while it was sitting there on autopilot? That's that's something that you would have to think about, wouldn't it? Okay. No, no, he landed. He double old Kevin move. Oh. What they call the monkey ball? Like jump on. How, how much ball. longer do we have before this show's over tonight? <laughs> I don't know. We burnt, oh. we burnt twenty minutes on a Texas Fort Worth board on deal. His Saturday night drunk date that oh lasted God. forty-five. Now, did we get a total time? What was the total time period? So you danced two songs, which we it's about seven minutes, right? Now, now was it two songs back to back? I you have the time on this. You got. It. <laughs> Did you text her? Yeah. Were y'all communicating via text? <laughs> yeah, she told me I was, I was here. Okay. okay. <laughs> she couldn't hear. She couldn't understand him with all the music. Yeah, so we'll talk, that's my just, excuse. Let's just talk back and forth on the text. With her back turned to you, right? While talking to another guy? Yeah, at 10 o'clock she was parking. 10 o'clock she was parking. Yeah. Did you send her a picture of your food? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did you send her a picture of your food? Yeah, I'm waiting on it. Yeah, I'm eating <laughs> They didn't get her nothing to eat, but he just said, <laughs> Wow. We really, we need to just do like a, uh, oh. what do they call that? A bro intervention? <laughs> At 10.23. 20, 23. Yeah. Okay. 
Hey, I kill you. Come to come to get me. I'm gonna punch the plate. Three. Alright. <laughs> and what time did she leave? Oh. What was that? And then, N- never call me text message at. <laughs> yeah. So that was at ten. What time was that at? And then at ten fifty six. Hey, I have to change by my man. <laughs> she texted you. She didn't leave. She texted you. She didn't even. She didn't even come up and tell you. Hey, I need to leave. It was nice for the uh, the two crappy dances and the uh, margarita. But uh, it went from ten. 22 to 10, 50 how, how Buddy, you that? got stood <laughs> up. No, hey, was, I was hey. giving you more credit. I was like, okay, you know, 11, 30, 12 o'clock. You had two hours in there. Dude, you got your butt stood up. <laughs> playing it. She I walked up there and she's like, you your text? Your text. Okay. Hey, and dance. then she was nice. Yeah, you dance. <laughs> she's like, she's probably texting her BFF saying, what should I do? Well, act like you're having fun. Dance once or twice with him. If he tries to grab your butt, make her run to the bathroom. Text me, and I'll bail you out. <laughs> okay, well, I work at the hospital. Okay, I'm on call. I need to go to work. Yeah, I you, my man. <laughs> right. <laughs> See you there? They need me to go in because they are pumped. You want to come out and say bye? Come out and say bye? <laughs> Where the hell were you at? Where were you at? <laughs> were you even in the same bar? Whoa, her phone rang. She had to go out and make the phone call. That's because she texted her friend. Yeah, she's call like, me. call me. Yeah, help. Call me. Call it was, me. It was, it was loud in there. You can't, you can't talk to the phone. See there, look. <laughs> I like that. Yep, she left your butt. <laughs> hey, she, she did come out and she died. And get by to me. Did you? Okay. She, right, she yeah. came out. And she came back and died. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh. And then, oh, then I walked into a car like a gentleman. Did you? Yeah. And that's when she tells you never to call her again. She, no, she, 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 she texted <laughs> <laughs> after she got in her car and the doors were locked, <laughs> driving away. She, she, I had fun. We all did it. <laughs> she had fun doing what? She was there for twenty minutes. She didn't have fun. <laughs> she said we all did it again. Jump time. You <laughs> what's that? Play text <laughs> text game? Well, I don't know. Well, I figured this weekend, you know, isn't that weekend? Which is, uh, I had fun this weekend. Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> that's like, that, that, yeah. that was the day at 4 o'clock. So, so she has plans. I had fun. She has plans this weekend. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you got stood yeah, up, I guess. buddy. Oh, man. Uh, I had fun. I, I, I had fun too this weekend. I, I think, I'm not going to Fort Worth. I, you know what, Pepper, I think moving <laughs> forward, we need to uh, – I think we need to pre-scan his dates. I think we can put down a questionnaire all right, let me, let me get and this, do all that let's stuff. Let's get this out there. Did, has she, had she seen the show before she showed up? I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't remember. Oh, mm, God. <laughs> I don't think you. <laughs> I don't think you knew nothing about it, yo. Well, that's good. <laughs> Uh, let's try. Let's do some. Let's do some actual show. <laughs> let's, let's do it. Do a real show. A real show. Let's do some real show here. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Instead of the day in the life of Tech Stewart. No, we didn't talk about the show. No. Yeah. Hello. There you are, right here, Pepper Stewart Show. We got Charlie Crawford. How you doing today? I'm doing great. How are you guys? Oh, you, <laughs> yeah, you're, we're, we're doing a lot better than Texas. That's for sure. <laughs> He's a. He, he, Actually, I'm in. I'm in Utah doing schools. Schools. Ah. All right. Well, hey, I need to go to Utah. Good. Good, how, how Utah? <laughs> how everything in Utah? Oh, it's good. It's a lot cooler. <laughs> a lot cooler. Oh, I'm, I imagine so. So what have you been up to? Working on working on schools and what else you got going? Yeah, we've been doing schools. We went out to Reno and went to the BFI, and then my wife broke out there in the Perry D, and she did good. I did pretty good. Um, then we're just on a three-week school tour. And then, uh, then we head down to Colorado Springs for the Finch shootout down there. And then the next week, go down to uh, Salt Lake City for the ERA rodeo. Now, I guess what we need to try to find out and, and break this out on the on the news is there is there a uh, a horse controversy coming up? A horse? Oh yeah. <laughs> no, no, not yet. Not, not yet. It's uh, 
Um, luckily, we we share well, so so it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, she really enjoys seeing him, and I don't get too uh, too overly. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't I don't just take him, so it works out pretty good. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> so the more she rides him, the better. The, the more solid he'll get, and then when I'm sure if it's time to work, if he's really that good, and and. Uh, and he ends up working better for me. I'm sure that it, it'll all end up panning out. But no, it's uh, everything right now is pretty smooth on the home front, as long as you didn't sell him. So, so <laughs> who's won more money off of him? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, really good horse for sure. She's so, done a good job with him. Well, it works. Who's who's been top? Who's been top on him? Who's who's uh le- who's got the leaderboard going on him right now? On on the horse? Yeah. Oh, she she does good on him. She rope she heads on him a little bit and, and breakaways on him some. And, um, he's still he's still kind of kind of green, so this kind of he's been getting called a lot more this year. And and so after this year, he'll, he'll be pretty solid. So I took him to the ERA rodeo in in uh, Albuquerque and shoot, he never made a bobble. He was he was awesome. So after this year, he'll be he'll be pretty solid. So it's right. be exciting to see how that that horse turns out. Yeah, that that ought to pan out pretty good. Yeah, I was watching. I was watching that. Uh, I was getting caught up. I'd been I'd been gone. Uh, <laughs> I've been. Go- it's funny because I've been gone. I was over in England again when that happened. And I think last time I was there, you te- that's when you you had texted me to come back on. So it's good timing, I guess. Yeah. But yeah, I was getting caught yeah. up on on ERA rodeos and and I, I seen that and I said, oh, I'm gonna have to ask you about that. I didn't ask about that horse. Yes, deal. sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be a good one there. I I enjoy riding him. He he definitely he's got no bad habits whatsoever. He knows the job. She's done a good job. Good job with him for sure. Now, he's an athlete. Now now how are you how are you liking this uh this ERA the ERA speed competition going on there with that with them fast times? Oh, it's fun. Gosh, it's fun. It's so much fun. Um, you know, getting to compete against them guys like that. You know, kind of head to head con competition like that and. You know, I I enjoy I enjoy the whole rodeo, uh, man. I'm a I love the bulldoggers that are on tour, and you know everybody's rooting for everybody, and you get to go back, back to shoots there at the end of the rodeo and, and root on my buddies in the bareback riding, and oh, it's great. You know, we're not in a hurry to get nowhere, and I enjoy getting to meet all the fans and stuff before the rodeo. It's been it's been great. Gosh, it's it's uh it's been a lot of fun. It's yeah, a lot of fun. yeah. I was, I was thinking about that because I was thinking I seen you back there on the back of the chutes during some of the rough stock. I was like, well, he's hanging out back there too. Yeah. I must be having a good time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've even thrown some of the steers before before the arena or before the rodeos and stuff. Kind of bulldoggers trying to get some of the steers kind of even and stuff like that. Where it's a little level bulldog and then shoot, they were shorthanded one day and I got to go out there and go help them throw steers down and it's just fun, you know. Everybody's there's it's not not really segregated i guess you say is everybody's kind of on the same team and just in different events so it's it's, uh, it's fun I, sh- I i enjoy it i've gotten to know a lot of these guys a lot better now and it's been really really enjoyable well it'll work now uh now i hear you, you uh you're rolling in a new trailer now oh yeah 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 we uh we got rid of a lot of our other stuff and um yeah kind of downsized on a few things and yes sir got a new trailer and Yes, sir. So it's uh, I don't have to go to as many rodeos now. So, so when we do, it'll be in a good ride. So, it'll be a good deal. <laughs> there you go, right? Ride in style. Might as well stay in style if you. Yes, when sir. You're out, there, out there on the road, so that'll work. That'll work out pretty good. So you, so you yeah, guys. It's been fun too. I got to take my family to Albuquerque, and I only got to do that one of the time the finals and stuff. So, yeah, it's been it's been fun. It, I really really have enjoyed it. We've been really busy and a different kind of busy, but. Uh, um, yeah, I've I've enjoyed it. So, well, that's a good deal. Stay, staying busy on the rodeo road and the schools, and you know, getting out there competing and helping out with the uh, the future yeah. the future generations, keeping them rolling and, and uh, teaching them yeah, how to get sure. it done. Yeah, and luckily it's been we've been able to manage time good too. We've been able to split it, you know, between schools and working and still staying sharp and still ready you know, ready when, when we get there. And, and so it's, it's been good. You know, we've got some other opens to go to and luckily we've been getting invited some since shootouts. So I get to go to a few rodeos, been going to a few amateur rodeos and been doing good. So it's, 
doing good to still stay sharp too while while we're still doing other things. So it's good. Horses have enjoyed it a lot more. I know that. I haven't. I know last year, um, my horse, my good horse, died a couple of years ago. So last year was kind of a a uh, trying to season my horses kind of kind of year and had to go through a few horses that some made it and some didn't. Blew some up. Had to go back and patch some up and <laughs> you know so this year i've got i've got some good horses that are good and and i can take my time with them and still season them and and not kind of put them in the, in the middle of fire so it's it's actually a great great time right now in my career where i'm at and so it, it, it's been i feel like i'm roping good i got some good horses coming along and and uh got the right horses for where i'm going so i'm in a good spot all right yeah that Keep things going, and uh, I guess we won't hold you up too much longer. Let you get back, get back to uh, to school and those those guys, and getting them getting them ready to roll. And uh, we appreciate you visiting with us. And uh, if we don't hear from you before too yes, long, we'll, we'll catch you in Dallas. You got it. Well, I appreciate it. And you guys get around Salt Lake in a couple of weeks. Next DRA event, we'll see you there. That'll work. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you. What'd you learn? You learned something. Well, I, I didn't find any enrolling into a school. I need to learn how to do whatever he teaches. I don't think you can afford to go to his team roping school. Uh, I didn't. I didn't learn how to. You got rope. You got rope. No, I do now. <laughs> you got rope. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I don't know. I wish you told us more about that bloomer trailer. I heard it's pretty nice. Well, that's what I was. That's why I was asking. I was gonna let him throw it out there. <laughs> Maybe he didn't want to. He didn't want to brag. He didn't, didn't want to. Yeah, he didn't want to boast about his new little new trailer. His air ride. Bloomer, bloomer, blah 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 well, you blah. You know about bloomers? You know anything about bloomers? No. We're talking about underwear. Yes, yeah, they say they're they're not the ones that you put on. I was thinking about blooming on you. Well, I drove. I keep driving. It almost seems like lately every week, and I've been driving past their their factory out there. You need nice stop trailers. You need to stop and get you one of them. Oh, I wish that'd be nice. Then I just have to buy more horses to actually haul in it. Tex will get caught up in his own rope, they say. Uh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Comparing, he can trip over his own feet two stepping. I, I could believe it. Hey, a couple more weeks, I'll be roping somebody. He, <laughs> what? So let's move on. So uh, yeah. yeah, let's talk about this here. I didn't know that. I didn't mean that. I apologize. Let's let's talk about that right there. Look at that. That's a cool little thing. Jack Colby with young auctioneer title. So what? Auctioneer. So they're auctioneers. Yeah. That two dollar, four dollar, six dollar. Yeah. Sold. Yeah. The, apparently, they had championship for the world's best auctioneer. I did not know that until they. Went. I didn't know they had a. Well, you know, I guess. Well, I don't. How would you judge? I still don't know how you judge. I, they all kind of the same to me, but how can you like contest? If y'all hold the same. How, how would you judge something? That's everybody. Go, oh well, he said three, three times really quick. Three, three, three. <laughs> Yeah, I think they sold yeah. sold with a a twang. To me, I think they're judging creativity, like trying to get the people involved, like the little sad comment. <laughs> how, how they get them involved? Well, it is an auctioneer, so their their like, goal is to make somebody spend more money. Yeah. So you like talking? Am I right? I guess you, yeah, am yes. I right? Tell me, I, am I right on that? So it's like you are correct. The moon So. You know, I guess you do like a little compliment to them. Or like you got, I don't know. Uh, no, because if you raise your hand, <laughs> they're gonna go ah twenty four, twenty five, twenty. Yeah, holler, dude. <laughs> yeah, scream out. And they'll be like, no, no, not me, not me. <laughs> yeah, you gotta holler at them. So they had a competition. And this guy won. Yeah, right down under. Down under. So what? it's Australia. Uh, <laughs> so they were auctioneering in Off Australian. Yeah, yeah, they were. <laughs> with an Aust- well, it's an, still it's an Australian, but with an Australian accent. Yeah. Uh-huh. Jake Coltman, Jamestown, has taken out the auctioneer livestock and property agent association South Australian Young Auctioneer Competition. What? Yeah, that's pretty tough. Huh? <laughs> Wow. Australian Lifestyle and Property Agent Association South Australian Young Auctioneer Competition. That one looks like Tex. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah he does. <laughs> I didn't know you were in Australia. Competition was held as part of a prime cattle challenge. Good night, mate. Oh. No, go <laughs> The competition was held. Yeah. 
today with okay i i, I thought you were reading a comment that got me that competition was hell out there that guy was talking so fast i didn't even know what he was saying probably that too heck i well, bought something we all want to know we all talk about the winner but let's talk about the runner up that's what we want that's what we want to know all right the runner up title with dean coldington what? elder keith buckley and then i don't know <laughs> All right. Both Coleman and Coldington will compete at the Kidney Royal Show on April the oh, 2017. Next year, yeah. They're going to they're gonna get to go next year and do it again. Yeah. Bigger stage, bigger stage. Wow. All auctioneer school was conducted by ALPA on Monday, June 27th. The show, yeah, where 11 members attended and all. So 11 people competed. So there's at, actually at an the, auctioneer school in Australia. Mm-hmm. Where they teach you to talk fast. You know, I didn't know they had school. You have to go to school to be an auctioneer. I guess so. What well, they got shrimp over there? Huh? huh? They got shrimp on the doll? Wow. Yeah, there you go. Shrimp on, <laughs> what is it? Shrimp on the Barbie? <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Speaking of that, what else we got about the cooking stuff? Who's talking about cooking stuff? Oh, cooking. Cooking, cooking, cooking. Cooking. Who wants to cook some stuff? How about that? <clears throat> How about we talk about six popular grilling trends for 2016? You know, I didn't yes. realize that there's actually a trend for grilling. I thought you just went through the steak on it and uh, you did all your stuff. That's what I figured. Hmm. So what do we got for number one? Smoking. Smoking. We're going to smoke it. Kind of like how my date was this past weekend. Smoking. Low and slow? <laughs> your date? Your date? Is that what you said? <laughs> yeah, your date was smoking tires, getting the hell out of Dodge, <laughs> and she saw you. So many uh, many consumers are trying in their hand at smoking meat instead of grilling. Low and slow. <laughs> Low temperatures and long cooking times. It's really gaining in popularity, says Chef Curtis Duell, a Belmont's colliery, Belmont's colliery expert. All right, He's Colory. Yeah, the colliery. The colliery, huh? Right. Uh, cooking in the backyard is one of the great joys of the summer, and we're seeing a growing willingness to spend more time getting it just right. There you go. You want to cook it just so right? So smoking is the number one. They don't mind They don't mind smoking them now because it takes so long to smoke it. So they know that, that they can go put some brisket on, fire up the smoker, and play on their phone for six, seven hours while it cooks. Or they like text and oh, baby, drink, a pill pack. drink a twelve pack. See, you know, where we messed up, we should have started backwards, and we should have went from number five to number one. Uh, Probably. So let's jump to number five then. What do you, What do you think number five is? What about? Well, I don't know. What is it? Well, uh, microwave. What about number six? What if we jump to number six? What happened then? What's the story behind the meat? That's number six. Yeah. They want to know what's in it, where it come from. They want to know the story of the meat. <sighs> number six. I'll, number I'll, six. I'll, I'll throw number six at you right quick. All right. Number six. Now everybody's curious where their meat comes from. They want to know. They want to know where it was. Did what kind of shots did you give it? Did you give it hormones? Did you give it great feed? Vacuum, did you give vacuum, it cubes? Yeah. Alfalfa hay. They want to know how you fed it. Or was it organic? I want to know what it organic meat. I hate to th- I hate to to ruin their fun, but all these. All this cattle that gets uh, gets packed, they they dry them out before they pack them. They're on a uh, feedlot for mm-hmm. a few months, so you can test any whether a cow that's had the antibiotics or didn't have antibiotics. When you go to test them, they're all going to be negative. <laughs> so, <I> mean, <laughs> and you pay an extra dollar a pound, yeah, because it's organic, right? But what's organic? organic? If they were organ- organically grown cow, yeah. Does that mean they actually they didn't ate? Make them, they didn't make them in a test tube. Oh. See, the ones, the ones you get from the store, they make them in a factory in a test tube. There we go. Yep. That's where that comes from. That, so that way they don't have to kill any animals. They right. just create the meat. Right. They're made in a test tube. Yeah. Okay. So that was number six. You want to do number five? Yeah, go for number five. <clears throat> <laughs> number five. Somebody's been watching this going, what in the world are they talking about? <laughs> test tube. Yeah, test tube cow. Yeah. Test tube cow. Uh, test tube baby. No, okay, shut up. (laughs) Number five. (laughs) It's lamb. (laughs) Have you ever had lamb? I'd rather not. I did. I had. Yeah, I've had it, and I had it a couple weeks ago over there in the uh, foreign land. So, uh, lamb chops on the grill or smoked leg of lamb is in a rise in popularity as consumers rediscover. The versatility of barbecuing with lamb cuts. 
The only problem I have with lamb cuts is uh, the lamb chops or whatever that I had over there. Mm-hmm. You better not be hungry. Because they're not very big. No, they're not. They're I, I never really cared for lamb too much. It's too small. Tiny, uh, tiny uh, pieces lamb, of meat. Lamb hard cheap, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey Tex <laughs> Shut up <laughs> So that was number five <laughs> <laughs> Number four oh. Drum roll please What do you got number four Di- Wow that was, was loud that? I don't even have number Different four. steak cuts oh, Cuts Yeah with beef prices rising steadily Since 2011 Less common cuts of steaks have become more popular Most people are buying Um I don't know. What's that? What are they buying here? They're buying the shoulder tender? Uh, yes. Um, for a similar to the tenderness of a beef sirloin or the flat iron steak. Another cut also known for tenderness and soft texture and <laughs> generous <laughs> marbling. Bacon. Bacon, bacon, what? bacon. Number, number three. three? Wrapping in bacon. 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 How was bacon good. not number one? I don't know. I, hell, I like bacon with my bacon. Uh, yeah, bacon. double bacon. You know, if you ever ate, uh, uh, back in the old days, the studio used to be next door to, uh, Eight Air Saloon over in Deep Ellum. Mm-hmm. And if you order the, what is called the BLT, it's got a little over a pound of bacon on that sucker. Wow. I mean, that's like, it's like that. That's some, that's some bacon now. That's bacon. That's bacon on my bacon right there. And they kind of, <sighs> they forget to put the... Lettuce and tomato on there, I think. It's just, it's, it's it's just all bacon. Bacon. <laughs> bacon channel. So they are saying that 42% eat burgers once a week with bacon. Or burger. What? What are you reading? Where, that's what I'm saying. You what jumped you up to about? number two. I pulled a text on you. You pulled a text? No, because you. I get to understand you. I didn't, I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't even get the article. Y'all know. Uh, there's a reason. <laughs> so number two is burgers, since you, you already jumped. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> According to recent statistics, 42% of consumers eat burgers at least once a week. I'm one of those 42 percenters. Yes. Actually, I probably eat them more than once a week. I'm more of an 84 percenter. Are you really? I eat it two times a week. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yeah. 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 So so what you're saying is 60% of the time, it works every time, right? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. 60% 60% of the time, it works 100% of the time. Yeah, That's go. all right, yeah, okay. Um, <clears throat> consumers eat on average 3.7 burgers per month, even more than pizza, which consumers eat on average two <laughs> or 3.2 times a month. 0.7, they ain't finishing that burger. Why are they not finishing Yeah, that? I don't know. Finish but see, I, I fall in that category. Me and my wife, we eat out all the time. That's just, it's, we've actually sat down and figured out it's cheaper for us to go out and eat than it is to go buy all the groceries and cook and all the stuff because we just can't cook for two of us. We cook for like six people all the time. But um, like last night was pizza night. All right. No, no. Last night was wing night. We had wing wings. I won't say what place, but we had wings last night. Night poor last was pizza. And <laughs> take me. <laughs> what? Okay. What in the world is going on over there? They're taking me. And then number one is smoking. 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 Were you, were you smoking while you were drinking? Just like me on my date this weekend. You were smoking. And she drinking? was smoking. You were smoking. She oh, probably. I, I would be she's smoking. probably smoking, <laughs> thinking herself, "Man, what was I smoking when I agreed to go on this date?" Uh, <laughs> I don't. I don't know what just happened. Apparently, at some point or another during the show, we talked about meat. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't remember what we just said. We just said it. I don't remember. I don't know. What else we got? What else we got? I don't know. What do you got? What do you got over at Tejas? I don't know. I'm kind of, I kind of enjoy talking about <laughs> Texas dating life. We probably get more viewership, so we'll keep talking about that, too. Hey, Let's talk about some PBR stuff. How's that? Uh, yes, bull riding. Bull, bull riding. Bull, bull, bull riding bull and bulls. Riding. Yes. Got the PBR going on right now? The, the what? The PBR going on right now? Or? Well, not right now, right now. But they did announce their latest uh, Ring of Honor recipient. Who who would that be? It wasn't me. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't get a phone call. <laughs> <laughs> Owen Washburn, oh. also known as Captain Consistency. Consistency. <laughs> That's bad. I, he, Owen's probably going to call me later on and chew me out. I've known Owen for years and years and years. Uh, 
Washburn qualified for the PBR four built tough finals, ten times ninety four through uh, ninety eight, and then two thousand and two thousand two through two thousand five. Won the PBR World Championships in nineteen ninety six. I remember that year. <clears throat> he was the first man to ride Terry Sharp's nearly unconquerable bull hammer. You probably don't remember that bull, do you? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. What the hammer? Wasn't he? Hammer, uh, wasn't he a ball face muley? Or I think it's something else. That was that high horn muley. Oh, he was high horn muley. Yeah, high horn. that black charlet high horn muley. What am I thinking of? Uh, from the old days, <laughs> I don't know. I'm thinking something else, I guess. I don't know. He had 23 uh, cowboy buck off streak. Uh, when he rode him, he rode him for 92.5 points. Uh, it helped him win. One hundred and twenty-five thousand two hundred ten dollars in one weekend. At that time, that was one of the highest payouts ever. If you can believe that, are you still confused on the year and yeah, stuff? I'm confused. Okay. I'm confused. Hold on. I'm, I always confused. <laughs> yeah, I we, stay confused. We know it's in your phone. <laughs> so in two thousand five, Owen retired and focused on becoming a stock contractor and supplying the PBR with bull riding bulls. I, uh, which is kind of funny because. Before this time, he was still a stock on turkey. He used to own a bunch of bulls there in New Mexico. He's just a, just one of the many New Mexico bull riders that had come out. Uh, let's see here. What did you have to did you see there? We get around to him, and you misconstrued every comment. Bushwhack it. Let's bushwhack something. You want to bushwhack something? Bushwhack. Uh, bushwhack know, bucked off. Know. Huh? I know. Bushwhack. Do you? Well, here you go. Look at that. There's a bushwhack right there. Right there on the bottom. Right there, big guy. Come on. Bushwhacker. Yep. But on the PBR King in 2009. Wow. I remember that. Do you? At the ABBI, American Buck and Bull Incorporated. <laughs> uh, I'm quite <laughs> impressed. With your award card champion. And then he picked up $250,000 the following year at the 2010 ABBI with award champion Fashion Bull. Quarter of a million dollars. Yeah. Holy moly. Yeah. After f- allowing one built for a tough chili follow five ride in 2009 by uh, some guy, <laughs> <laughs> the 1,700-pound champion competed for five additional years at the BFTS. Bucking off. <laughs> built for a tough series. Yeah, you I about? get built for. Yeah, I get. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know you've been there a time or two. Yeah, I guess I need like not abbreviated. I guess I could change it, not change the letter. Built for a tough. Yeah, controlling bucking off forty two cowboy at one point, setting a new PBR record that holds to this day. Wow, that's to why, that's this day. Oh, that's why you know Bushwhacker. He a whole record holder. Ah. <laughs> like me. I'm a record holder for it. Quick as a date? Yeah. BS. <laughs> 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 right. Now, this guy, he bucked off 42 Cowboys at one point. I'm always bucking <laughs> off date. <laughs> I'm glad you said it that way. I thought we were going to have to smack you in the <sighs> All my date get bucked off. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, who else you got? Uh, I want to get a phone call. So anyhow, we'll, I don't we'll, know. Before we run out of time, we'll we'll run through it. Tandy Tandy Freeman. Those that don't know, that is the, the uh, surgeon, the surgeon superstar of the bull riding rodeo world, right? Yes, he is. He can fi- he can fix it. If it can't be fixed, he can fix it. Just let me. Well, he no, he, he might not be able to fix you. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. But anyhow, he's going to get the uh, Jim Shoulders Lifetime Achievement Award. They started that back in 2011. He's going to work on that. And then you got the uh, Sharon Shoulders Award is going to go to Leanne Hart. Awesome. She does a lot of stuff with the uh, Bull War Riding World as well. And Congratulations, Leanne. And she does a lot of live. They do her and JW do a lot of live Facebook uh, live feed stuff. And uh, a lot of times it's pretty, pretty funny. Yeah, it's pretty good. I watch them. Because he will... Uh, I just remember when she had that big old black eye last year. Yeah. She got hit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The last one they had is one, I think the last one they had is one, uh, I don't know. I'll leave that one, I'll leave that one there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and she got, they were working cattle. So yeah. She got, I don't know. It was a squeeze gate or something, squeeze shoot got her. No, the last one I watched, they, she tried to, 
Ask JW something serious, and he's she tried to get me to say something. He's like, "You cannot go in the bathroom after my wife's been in there for at least an hour or two. <laughs> <laughs> so That's it. Kind of backfired on him, but it was still funny. Oh, what else is going on? You know, people are actually <laughs> people are actually watching live tonight. Are they really? Yeah, uh, we're on a different feed, so I can't see. I can't see them tonight. I was, I was like, you know, people are. And, and that's another thing too. Those of you that are watching live, be sure and uh, tell somebody. Let them know. Tell your friend, your neighbor, your grandma. <laughs> they might want to hear a text trying to story. <laughs> well, boy, he has a lot of them. <laughs> I'm curious to see what this next weekend's date's going to be like. I got an interesting weekend. Find out. Do you really? I, do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just don't know where I'm going yet. You know, if we had the right, if we had the right. Uh, I, we need I, one of them GoPro camera. I got a GoPro. But what, what we need, what we need to work on is, if somebody out there knows knows somebody that knows somebody, set this up because we could uh, have a sideshow, which is already a sideshow, but a sideshow you can watch of uh, the trials and tribulations of Tex Travis, Farmer's Only Superstar. <laughs> Superstar. It just follows him around every weekend to capture because there's a lot of there's a lot of good. Yeah, uh, a lot of good footage out there that's being missed up, that's being missed out. If you could only see behind the scenes, you would understand. Even yeah, so yeah, that, that that's like an MTV. That's like that's definitely an MTV. It would have to be. It would have to be. <laughs> and there's a lot. A lot of people like watching reality, or they reality. It's not really reality TV, but you know, people that don't know about that stuff think it's reality TV. <laughs> Yours would be reality. <laughs> but yeah, that that'd be I some mean, good stuff. I can't make this stuff up. Yeah, we know. <laughs> no, we've noticed that. <laughs> what else no, what I got? want to. We do have the. What about the hairy one? The hairy one that hangs. What about that? You got that up there? The what? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what in the heck you're talking about. But that's kind of scary. I think I got a picture of my phone like that. <laughs> <laughs> don't even, please. Oh, Stop. I think, I think. I think. Stop. I got Right there, the hairy one that hangs. Right there. Yeah, that's the what hairy I got one that hangs. Bandito. That's exactly what I. Oh, bandito. I think I have bandito. There you go. Right there. No. But this uh, isn't uh, that one. So Sonoran bandito. Oh, August, yeah, that's right there. Augustine. Right there. Oh, that's a long one, bandit. That's oh. Augustine. Oh. Chacon, right there. Alias was the hairy one. Peludo. Peluda. I mean, the, the hairy one. The hairy one. The hairy one. All right. What he do? He must have been hairy. He robbed and killed an Arizona, and then hid out in Kiel Malva. Madres. That's your mother's mother. <laughs> he hid out in Sierra's mother? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> the mother of Sierra? Wow. Until he captured you in 1896. Did, did he say if you found my keys, we'll drive out of here? <laughs> <laughs> he scared you to hang for the motor of a deputy. Probably somebody got it. He found guilty by a jury at Pablo sells. Yeah. Said he don't. Yeah, he didn't kill it to hang. Okay. Thanks to a hat y'all spoken into the jail and shot a Bible and a lady friend who lured the night going away. Oh, <laughs> I bet she <laughs> lured him away, all right. <laughs> <laughs> they they high stuff and shot Bible. What, really? In 1902, the Arizona Rangers shipped him to Mexico and captured him. This time he was successfully hanged on November twenty third, nineteen o two. So he thought there was no lady. The lady friend didn't come back for the rescue in nineteen o two. He's probably day drunk. So, <laughs> uh, yeah, let's figure this out then. So uh, he robbed and killed some people, yeah. right? Yeah, you right. Got arrested, went to court, had a trial. They found him guilty. They're going to hang his butt instead of just rushing him out and hanging him. They kept him in jail for a little bit longer. Girlfriend. The lady friend. The lady, <laughs> yeah. So his, uh, uh, his novia yeah, or yeah, lady, whatever. Yeah. Lady friend. Uh -huh. We're going to start. Uh, we're going to start calling these text friends. Lady so friend. the text friend. A lady, she got a Bible, by the way. The lady brought a Bible <laughs> into him. Had a hacksaw in the Bible. <laughs> and then she's not much of a lady friend because then she just seduces. The jailer. The jailer. She didn't do. She, she lured him away. She lured him away. 
I don't know. I really don't. Technically, I don't even know what you do. You mean? <laughs> okay. I really don't know. The real and then, thing obviously, <laughs> she must have been really good at her luring him away because he had a hacksaw to cut those old wrought iron bars. Let's not make this any harder than <laughs> yeah. it has to be. Snuck away, got him to New Mexico, uh, in Mexico, and then they posse rounded up and they uh, went and got him and brought him back, huh? And then hung his butt. That story right there. There and that, we go. And that guy right there, we'll tell you about that one next time. So stay tuned for that deal. Uh-oh. Is it already that time? Ah, that's a possibility. You mean we talked all this entire show about your dating life? <laughs> this was the dating dating episode of Tex. Yeah, wow, this I one's know. not going to be re-aired. I know <laughs> that one. <laughs> Boy, man, we all do know the show. You know what? After I, people... <laughs> Go, go, go live. <laughs> the show oh. is live right now. The show, we are live <laughs> I mean, for like I, the last hour. I did have a date plan that weekend, but I may not have one. <laughs> you probably won't have one now. I think it's done. I'm probably going to be chatting at home now. Day drinking. That. And I go in well, that was almost good. Almost there. Well, that's an ugly mug shot, isn't it? Hey, they all look like me, don't they? I was going to say, is that your, it's not your dad, is it? <laughs> Great grandpa? Oh, Lord. <laughs> uh, <sighs> so, you anything planned this weekend? Not you, Tex. <laughs> Pepper, you anything planned? What do we got going on? We got stuff going on. Oh, we all going to uh, Rodeo and Will's Point. Will's Point, Texas. We got the East Texas Rough Stock Association finals Friday night, 7.30, Saturday, 10 o'clock in the morning. Wow. So, we'll be rodeoed out uh, Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, we got some more pasture to mow. And Monday, we got some more pasture to mow. So. Yeah, I got, we actually have four rodeos this weekend, but I'll just be at one. We're going to be in Whitesboro, Texas. I know about what that is. Mm-hmm. It's about five miles from the Oklahoma State Line. Straight north. I think I'm banned from Oklahoma. I can't know where it is. <laughs> no, you're just banned from Durant. Yeah. That's a whole other story. Yeah. And I, I got paper to prove it. You got paper. Uh, Anyways. Anyway. Well, that's all I got, buddy. That's all we got, I guess. We got a lot of stuff. That's all we got. We got anything else? Anything <laughs> we didn't get much stuff done today. We didn't get anything done. We'll have more stuff next time. On yeah, the next we'll one. Add it to our list. I got article right here. I didn't even read. Well, yeah, because oh. you could have read it to start with. But they, uh, we'll, we'll have to read that on the next one. But, I, you know, other than that. Uh, <laughs> you can proofread for the next seven days. Was, <laughs> well, that's like somebody asked the, well, asked the other day. I put a video out there. It's like, well, well what, what's the show about? What is, I said, yeah, I, that's why I put it out there. It ain't, it ain't nothing. It's about, it ain't about anything. It's, it's whatever we're it's uh, whatever uh, inclined to discuss at that moment. Right. It's just, it's, there is no, uh, there's no agenda. We have, <laughs> I, we have ideas. Yeah, we got, we got some ideas. We really have this nice schedule we're supposed to follow, yeah. and I don't think we've followed it in a year. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. I haven't read that itinerary yet. I don't, I don't think I got it. Because you wouldn't follow if we gave it to you. <laughs> we're conserving you paper. You can't even follow simple instructions on text. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I follow. I went out and tried to meet him. Well, that you know if you came back and tried. Oh, all right. Somebody uh, was wanting text to send, post some of his – his pictures on Facebook for him to, to see that, but yeah. evidently he can't post on <laughs> pictures on Facebook. Yeah, right he's now. not allowed to post on Facebook for seven <laughs> days. Yeah, I can upload pictures or tag any picture for seven days. <laughs> Facebook gave me a check it warning. <laughs> You'll be the first friend I know that's banned from Facebook. <laughs> Twice. <laughs> Twice. That's kind of cool. No, I'm not banned from Facebook. I'm just banned from posting pictures. You're yet. <laughs> <laughs> you oh. will be banned here shortly. <laughs> I don't know. Before, before we before we disappear, anybody out there in, in the uh, viewing audience that's rattling up in the chat board, did did you learn anything? Did anything happen that excited you? Were you surprised? Were you happy? You were were you happy? You wasted your your hour watching a watching a live show. <laughs> But if you have any dating <laughs> advice for Ted, please feel free to match it my page. I need all the dating advice I can get. Yes, he does. Uh, he needs a lot of it. He, he needs a whole lot. A lot. Well, I, you know what? I guess we need to go. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're kind of running over today. So I guess we say, as always, if you're looking around for... Uh, Got to uh, go, got to go, got to go right now. You're looking for what's going on with the text, Travis. You can find him on the Facebook. <laughs> we, learned, <laughs> <laughs> we learned the text don't need to date. <laughs> look for him on Facebook, text Travis. You still he's also, no pictures. He's on Farmers Only, too. Don't be looking for pictures because he can't post none. And Daryl's wandering around somewhere with the uh, Texas Bronco Riding Association. Yep. They're bucking in your town soon. And I will, too. Tex will be there, probably. I don't know if he will. Oh, I'm talking about bucking in your town, too. <laughs> <laughs> Not least for seven days. <laughs> well, yeah, oh, that one, yeah. too. So, any, anyhow, uh, everything else wandering around on pepperstewart.com. And uh, until then... On to the next one, we will meet again.